What's up guys, it's your boy Lilation, and I'm back for another YouTube video, and this is not going to be a viewer video, this is going to be a tier list of video, and it's not a viewer video just because, uh, I'm trying to make some non-VR content as well, like this, and like gaming, like other stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's get into it, and these are VR games that I have played, and this is like, my personal opinion, and I have LR, if you've played Dokkan or Doka Battle, you know that is almost there, solid, meh, needs an update, and then don't waste your time, and, or money, don't waste your time or money, and let's get start right into it, so first off, we have Attack on Quest, and, um, I like it, personally, I think it, it needs a little more variety, like, uh, maybe some new titans or something like that, but, it's a, it's a pretty good game, and you know, anime is really good, so I'll put it at solid for now. And then next we have a uh, big screen beta. So, uh, big screen beta, guys. It's it's uh, free, and I'm putting that in air quotes because in order to get anything good, like in movies or anything, you gotta pay for that. And it's like it's like a real life thing, like six dollars a movie. And I assume if you buy a ticket to a movie and you miss it you don't get a refund i mean i don't know how it works but actually i'm gonna assume you get a refund just because you spend your money you should be able to watch the movie but and like the channels it shows it's not good so i'm putting it in don't waste your time for now all right next we got fruit ninja and uh hmm. you know this game brought back nostalgia from like when I had, I was playing all my bombs, uh, iPod Touch, and I was just, you know, playing it, <laughs> the real Fruit Ninja. And so I brought back and sold it. I bought it before it had the last update, so it was pretty bad. So, like, before I'd put it here, but now you actually have, like, incentive to work towards, I guess, cool swords. So, uh, I'll put it in, hmm. I'll put it in meh for now. Alright, next we've got Gun Club. And Gun Club is... Uh, it's a good game, in my opinion. It, But they need those live targets, man. Like, if... The reason they don't want to do live targets is because... Blood, gore, whatever, you can just... I, I, they can just make a setting, but... Hey, VR games are hard to code. But, you know... Overall, it's a pretty good game. Um... I think getting money is too easy though. Like how you get money to unlock guns is too easy. And like eh, they need to make some things a little more challenging in this, I feel like. But I'll put it in meh for now. Next we have I expect you to die. So uh a little back onto this. This uh this is the first game I put out for VR content wise on my TikTok. Um and this is a game it's a really fun game. I always enjoy the new levels that uh I just challenge myself with, see if I can get through it. And honestly I think someone said that the last level they made this base station was the last. Unless they made something official it was gonna be the last. But uh I think they could make another level because if I survive, I'm pretty sure the Dr. Z, I don't know the name, could survive too. Like, if I survive that, I, I'm pretty sure the Doctor can survive. But it goes in almost there, just because I really enjoyed it. Ho ho ho. We got Job Simulator, baby. Oh, the king of the, the, king of the VRs for now. But, you know, I gotta put it in here, just because, yeah. It's, uh, it's a fun game. The mods are good, but I really want them to add more jobs, man. Like, there's so many jobs they can add. Like, police officer, a uh, doctor, firefighter. I guess they could add librarian. Eh, maybe not. Or like babysitter, or not babysitter. Sorry, like an aide on a school recess ground or something like that. Teacher, teacher would be cool. Teacher would be really cool. Uh, let's see, like, 
yeah, they could add those, like, sports player. Sports player would be cool, like any sport. But, yeah, it goes in LR because it is a legendary. All right, next up we got, uh, we got its uh, younger brother, Vacation Simulator. Now, Vacation Simulator. Look, <laughs> it was $30. Not worth as much as Job Simulator. It just didn't have the same aesthetic or vibe to as its uh, older brother. And I don't know why, but the graphics were, were better than this one, obviously. There are a lot more things to do, but it just didn't have the same vibe to it. You know what I mean? So we'll put it in meh. And I do believe that these both games are better than this one, for sure. Alright, next up, we got uh, Rec Room. Rec Room is a godly free game like this is definitely one of the first games you should get on uh when you first get vr i don't know if it's on rift but i know for sure it's on quest because i have quest oh uh by the way i'm gonna make a part two to this this is not uh the because there's some games that left out so i'm gonna make a part two to this if you're wondering why some games are left out but yeah rec room is a, a god of a game and it's free too so you know it's gotta go on the legendary i remember me and my friend were working on this uh this robot game and we spent like two weeks working on it just because we couldn't get through it and we did it eventually and it's fun it's a good fun to, it's a good game to play with your friends it's free so everyone can get it as long as you have a, a vr but yeah so next up we have robo recall uh, Robo Recall was, it's a good game to start out with, but if you just like, it was way too repetitive for me. If you just look at it from like a non first time quest, a non like first VR game aspect, it's like, eh. I don't know what it is now. I, I returned it like a couple months ago, but from when I played it, it was just like too repetitive for me. So yeah needs an update like they just need something to spice it up man i just couldn't get it through the first couple of levels just because it was way too repetitive next space pirate trainer it's a cool game you know to show people when you first if it's their first time playing vr and like i guess you can challenge yourself to beat your record but overall it's the same thing it's repetitive and it needs some sort of update. Next, we have Pokemon VR Baby from the side quest. And oh my lord, this game is. It's a. Uh, bring back some mem Brings back memories, man. Brings back memories. Um. Yeah. Uh. Pokemon VR is. Uh, it's. It's so cool because it's cool that someone can make a game like this. And. Uh just make a game like this like I never thought Pokemon VR would become a thing or at least this advanced and they're still working on updates they cre just create a roadmap so you know we can visualize when updates are coming and that's just really sick so it's going in almost there right now next up we've got Poker Stars VR Poker Stars VR is um, like my opinion for gambling wise it's like a masterpiece like, I can sit, I remember going nights, I just went hours playing PokerStars VR to like 3am, 4am, just cause it's poker man, it's so fun. And like, you can unlock cool stuff as well in it, and you know, the hands aren't too realistic, like you'll get maybe a straight or a flush every 20 hands, if even, like, it's pretty realistic hand wise, and I remember one moment my battery died in one of my controllers. So I was rushing over to get a, a battery, and I got back in time to check. So this goes in legendary for sure, or LR category. And now we have it's a uh, oh we have it's again it's younger brother Poker VR. Now Poker VR it's definitely more of a chill kind of vibe to it, but they're both free. Both of these games are free. It's uh, older brother. They're both free, and 
you had to pick one, I'd definitely pick Poker Stars. This one, you have no, like, cosmetics to buy. It's, like, it's kind of, like, if you're just chilling, you just want to be not serious, you'll play this one. But just, like, in my opinion, don't, don't waste your time with it. Just because it's, just don't waste your time. Next up, we have Sports Scramble. Sports Scramble is cool. It's a good, it's a very good family game. I have, my family plays it a lot. Uh, I'm like our family nights or whatever. And, you know, we've been having a lot more family time because of the pandemic. And it's a good game. It's, like, interesting. It's unique. And they have, like, the bowling part and, like, the new game modes. And it definitely is, like, a game to play with your family. It's a nice game. And I believe it's only like twenty dollars, so it's pretty good. So solid. Next we have Racket Fury. Racket Fury is um like I'm gonna be honest, the fact that anyone can code the physics of a ping pong ball in VR is like pretty insane. And I give props to whoever did that. So, and the Racket Fury is in my opinion is a really fun game. But and yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I released. Maybe I didn't release it yet, but a YouTube video about. I met like a really nice senior citizen in there. It was really fun, and we've played together before. Uh, or not together before. Uh, more after after the recording, like the day later. And you know, it's a really nice guy. It's fun, and it's a really good game. But you know, I'm gonna be honest. It's multiplayer. It needs to work on some kinks, man. <laughs> That's the one issue I have with it. It's multiplayer. Lags, bugs out, the physics are just whack in the multiplayer. And I feel like if they can fix that, it'll become legendary. But for now, it's almost there. And finally, we have our last one, which is Super Hot. And Super Hot is, to me, a very fun game. Very fun. It's cool because you, it's like it's kind of matrix vibe to it you can dodge bullets you know neo and stuff dodge bullets slow time well you can't slow time but as long as you don't move you slow time very cool game um but you know it's got that you know suicide aspect to it but it's just like if, you know, don't like suicide's bad but and you can change that in the settings if you uh, don't like the suicide aspect of the game. You can change that in the settings. But, yeah, it's got the suicide aspect, but it's, it's a game, and it's a cool story, and it's very fun to play. <laughs> it's really fun watching my dad play it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, overall, it's a good game. And, here you go. LR. So, this is what I have so far. I have Poker VR and Weak Screen Beta and Don't Waste Your Time. Robo Recall on Space Pirates and Trainer and needs an update because they do need an update. You know what? <sighs> yeah, that needs to go down here. I uh, take that back. I need to go down there. And I was going to rank, like, if it's more towards the I'm going to rank it right now. If it's more towards the left, it means it's better. Than the one on the right, so definitely there, definitely like that, and yeah, for sure there. And we on this, that definitely goes there, and no, 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 no. I enjoyed this, I enjoyed that, and with this, everything seems to be in order, and yeah. If you guys like this content, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.